Hey guys, it's Kimber from Kimber Dawn Co. and I am here today talking all about glyphs and how to use them in Silhouette Studio. First off, what is a glyph? Um, glyphs are simply extra characters that you cannot access from your main keyboard um, that are in fonts. A lot of people ask, why would I ever buy a font when there's so many free ones on the internet? Well, there are many reasons, um, and I have a whole blog post about it, but one really big one is that um, when you buy fonts, you're getting professional grade fonts and a lot of those have these really really cool extra characters that can make your designs um, and your wording look much more custom and give you much more creative flexibility with it. So if we look at the fonts right here you'll see um, that some of them kind of like this one right here has um, these extra little swirls and those aren't the normal letters those are actually a special character um, put in to kind of make it look like a prettier design. Familiar right here has these extra swashes on the L's, it has the loops and the swirls um, on that F and on the R. <coughs> um, if we go down, we'll see Moncherie has it, Hollywood, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, quite a few of them. The Hungry JPEG um, is one of our partners and we really love them because you can get um, a huge number of fonts in a bundle each month for just literally pennies per font. Um, this month uh, the bundle includes over 80 fonts for um, a huge discount. I think it's like 97% off what they would call you or cost you in a retail setting. Anyways, um, moving on back to Silhouette Studio. So how do we get it? So you get the font, you download it to your computer, you install it on your computer, you reopen Silhouette Studio, and now you want to type something. You type something out and it looks like this and you thought it was going to look like this. So what we're gonna talk about now is how we get from here to here. Um, the first thing I need to tell you is that I am operating on a Mac. It is going to be different from a Mac to Windows. I'm gonna kinda of highlight some of those differences as we go. So we're just gonna get right to it. Um, the font I'm gonna use is Shani, and I think this is a super cute font. I will be using it um, a lot. I just got it in the January bundle. Um, so I'm gonna type out exactly what I had over there. Using glyphs in Silhouette Studio. I can't type. And then I am going to center it and then move it over here. Um, and then just so it makes it easier for you guys to see, I'm going to um, fill it in black so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Okay, so I just typed it out. Obviously that's not even in Shani, that's just the default font. So what I'm going to do first is change the font. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to come over here um, and change it into Shani. And then I'm going to, again, resize it so that y'all can see it better. And here we have it. If I just type the words in, these are the regular characters that I can access from my keyboard. Now, how do we get all these um, pretty things going from here to here? <coughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is on a Mac, we're going to open our font book. If you are a Windows user, you're going to want to open your character map um, to do this. When you open your character map, there's going to be a character set box. You're going to set to Unicode, a group by box that you'll set to Unicode sub range, which is going to pop up another selection for you where you're going to choose private characters. And then you should be seeing the same thing we see when we open font book. Now, if your font is installed, you should be able to see it in font book. If I go to launch pad, I can go right here, type in font book, and open it. Um, you can use a search to find the font that you're using. I'm using Shani, it's already open, so it's right here. Now, what you'll notice is you wanna set it right here to this grid view, and you will be able to see all of the characters that are available in this font. If you can only see one letter here or two letters, you can use a sidebar to make it bigger or smaller so that you can see them well. So, you can now see that some of these swirly letters are all down here at the bottom, and these are the characters that are included in the font, but that you just can't get to from that um, regular keyboard. So what we're going to do now is just go in here, and I'm going to see, the first thing I'm going to change is this G. So, my G just looks nice and boring. What I'm going to do is highlight it. Oh, to do that, I'm going to need the green box around it, not the black box, but the green box. Highlight it. Go back to my font book and um, command tab will go uh, switch <coughs> switch those windows for you very very quickly. 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to go here and see if we can find that G. It's a G, but it's not the one I'm looking for. You just kind of have to um, scroll through here to find the characters. There's no super quick way, unfortunately. I think we're getting close. There it is. Okay, so then I find the G. I click on it once. I don't double click it. I just click it once to highlight it. I use Command C to copy it. If you're on a um, Windows computer, that is going to be Control C. Then I'm going to go back over here to Silhouette Studio. It's already highlighted, so I'm highlighting. If it's not already, highlight the letter you want to change, and then I'm going to paste over it. And you see that I pasted that beautiful swirly G. It already looks so much um, more fun and exciting and custom just using that one letter. Um, then I can go through and just change um, various letters as I kind of see fit. Let's see what we can do with that S. Let's find an S. Scroll down a little bit. And... Oops. Usually they're in alphabetical order, but they kind of go over and over and they also skip letters. So it's not always as easy as you want it to be to find the letter you want. Here's the S. Okay, and then we go back here and we paste that there. So that's cute. And then we'll do an N right here. Then should be right up here. L N N. Copy that. Paste it there. Um, and then the other thing is, a lot of the fonts will have in their extra characters, in the glyphs, um, something called ligatures, which is two connected characters. These two T's next to each other look a little bit funny with the two crossed. So if I look in here, um, they actually, I know they're at the bottom, ligatures are usually down there, and I know they are in this font. So I scroll down towards the bottom, and I start to see those double characters right here. So I just now scroll until I find T's. Might have passed it. Okay. There they are, the two T's. Now this is um, actually one character, not two characters. So when I go in here, I'm going to need to delete both of my T's. Oops, I didn't get them both. Okay, delete both of the T's and then paste in that one character that is the two T's together. And it just uh, offers a more fluid transition between two letters and um, that might be a little bit more awkward. So that gives us a nice pretty um, thing right there. And then um, just any other letters you want to change, you just scroll through, find um, something beautiful. Let's see. And then you just keep going, highlighting, and changing them to however you want it to look. And then once you're done, you can just cut it um, as normal. Now, some of these things on the glyphs are really thin, so you might want to use the offset to um, thicken them up, fold them up a little bit. Um, but other than that, you're good to go just to cut as usual. And that is how you use glyphs in Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave them on here. We'll be happy to answer them or help you out when we can. Um, or put them in our Silhouette group, Silhouette Cameo Project Inspiration. Um, and hopefully we'll see you back next time for another tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.